when I was on Instagram and Snapchat, it's all kind of fake, it's all filtered. It builds your insecurities, it lowers your confidence. It's affecting our society and affecting children's happiness. I asked to see what Jamie was looking at and I was horrified to be honest with you. It makes you feel fake in yourself because you're not expressing your true self, you're always putting on an act. It's got to be stopped. She's deleted Snapchat and Instagram. Jamie, who's 15 and from Lincolnshire, has decided she doesn't want them anymore. And any of these examples could be just some of the reasons why. In secondary school, when I was 14, I started being bullied via online messaging platforms, a space where previously I felt safe and happy. When I turned 16, I became really aware of how my body was changing. I was scrolling through social media, seeing photo after photo of skinny influencers. And having deleted her apps, this is how Jenny feels. I feel a lot happier. I get to spend a lot more time with my mum and my mates. It's a bit more peace in life, like I can actually get on with things and when I need to text someone, I can without it being constantly on my back. As me, as a, as a mum, I thought, well, this is how she communicates with all her friends and they're all in groups and they all meet each other, etc. And then when I said, can I have a look at it? It really, really opened my eyes to the seedy side of what children are, are playing with, really. Right now, some of these issues are set to be tackled in an online safety bill which is being considered by Parliament, including ensuring there's better age verification on social media sites and that adults are able to block content. But even if approved, all these changes are a long way off. I would say the most important thing is that a parent and child work together. I mean, we're talking about what parents should do. Parents really, you know, can't stop the tide of this stuff on social media. It's the tech firms that need to step up and do this. But whilst the rest of the world catches up, Jamie and her mum have at least found a better way to handle her mobile phone. Crispin Rolfe, BBC Look North.